In this video, I'm going to present the complete product review process with Bentley Navigator to control the aggregated model and EcoSymbolink Designer to modify and update the model. The first step will be to review and explore the building model with Bentley Navigator. The first thing that we will see is the information persistence. Objects data are maintained in the I model from the original model. We can, for example, create a wall. We can also navigate in the complete hierarchy tree and view all the objects taking part in the model. In the Show Details dialog of the item tree, we can display detailed information. We can select the third tool to identify specific objects depending on their type or on their specific properties. For example, we will select Flexible Ducts. The result of the search can be reached in the item tree panel. Display tools make possible to isolate and view selected objects in their context. In Bentley Navigator, to better view the model, we benefit from navigation tools. We can fly over the model or navigate inside the, mod the building. The navigation spin can be edited to adapt to the context. Navigation tools help to a better comprehension of the product. It is also possible to make comments and to annotate the building model at this time. Annotations will be made in 2D spaces. We call this 2D spaces markups. Other tools which provide a comprehensive view of the building model are the section plans available in dynamic views. With the view attributes, it is possible to change the display of the section plane, the forward part and the back part of the model. We can make the model more explicit. Dynamic views help to view the interior of a building model and to check the consistency of aggregated model. I'm now moving the section plan dynamically through the model to control the different parts of the building. With the View tool, I can also create a perspective section. With the View Attributes tool, I now display the back part of the building model with a transparent representation. The back part of the model is now part of the representation and helps to a better comprehension. Capabilities to view the project with Bentley Navigator are very efficient. A very efficient method to investigate in the building model to check it, the consistency of different disciplines is to use the clash detection. With the clash detection tool we can check a discipline according to another one and see if they match together. We will now analyze mechanical systems against architecture. Just by dragging and dropping disciplines in the clash detection dialog we can isolate the objects to be checked. Selected objects of different groups are highlighted with specific colors. After processing clash detection, the results are displayed in the clash detection di dialog. Selecting the different clashes will zoom on the appropriate zone of the building model. Clashes can be assigned to specific project collaborators. So let's assign this clash to the architect. A markup can be created for each clash. A markup is a 2D annotation space containing the picture of the issue where annotations and comments can be written and added. Annotation clouds, notes, highlights can be added. So let's place a note in this markup so as to open the wall. After placing annotation, we can move back to the review model. A marker linked to this annotation space is also added at the same time in the 3D model. Once I've investigated on the issues of this I model, I will correct the problems in the original model with EcoSymbol Link Designer. I now open the original architecture model and will create a reentrant in the wall to solve the clash with the duct. The markups from Bentley Navigator are available in Ecosim Building Designer and let me know where the problems are. Viewing the markups will automatically zoom at the right place. I now chose the Construct Opening tool to create an opening in the wall. I first select the cutting element and then the wall to be opened. The clash is now avoided. I will save my file.
After correcting the architecture model, I will open the general model and will republish the entire building model so as to run clash detection again in Bentley Navigator. So let's republish the I model of the general complete model. Once published again, I will reopen Bentley Navigator. I open again the Clash Detection tool and rerun the Clash Detection. In the Result section of the Clash Detection dialog, I can see that the status of the clashes has changed. For the Clash number 9, the collision between the ducts and the wall is now resolved, and we can zoom into the 3D model to view that an opening has been created in the wall.